The Rhino trying to make it to the state championship game for the first time since 1999. A lot of these kids weren't even born then. Let's go. First quarter action. Kings Fork. The Bulldogs get in on it early. Touchdown pass from Cameron Butler to Caletri Boyd. 80 yard catch and run on the screen pass. And that was on a third down. Early advantage Bulldogs, seven nothing. Kings Fork. Derricott and this guy, the Ant-Man. Anthony Fisher came up huge in this one. That big pass set it up for this. Back to the ground game. Kyrie Sarita picks up some nice yards and a first down. And then Verina would cap off the drive with this guy who had the game of his life. It's back to the Ant-Man. Anthony Fisher to pay dirt. Touchdown, Verina. Let's go, he says. That ties the score up at seven apiece. Here comes King Fork again. Cameron Butler, he was really good for this Bulldog squad. If he was a little bit taller, he'd have a lot of D1 offers. As it was, he was a problem for Verina. Key moment here, though. Fourth and goal inside the Verina one. Blue Devils get a huge stop. That would be paramount later in the game. Ensuing drive. Thought this was going to be a defensive ball game. Both teams came in with great defenses, and it showed there. They get the stop to Kings Fork, and then it sets up a short field. They take advantage. Second quarter, the touchdown pass. Cameron Butler to Marquis Green. 14-7 Bulldogs, 10.53 to go. Second quarter, special teams would play a factor. Verina would get a big kick return back here. Kenneth Faison could go the distance. Faison, face in the end zone. Verina would get the ball deep in Bulldogs territory, and yes, the Blue Devils would take advantage. The Ant-Man, Anthony Fisher, his second rushing touchdown, and he's not done. You haven't heard the last of Fisher. He was tremendous for Verina on this Saturday afternoon, so we're tied at 14. Back comes Kings Fork. Did not take them long. Again, Butler to Marquise Green. Two touchdown passes, 22 and 40 yards to Marquise Green from Butler. Kings Fork up 21-14. Time for Miles Derricott to take things over, and he would on the ensuing Verina drive. Derricott, big run there. Derricott looking, looking, good coverage, but he's got wheels, and he can break some ankles. And there goes Miles Derricott. Derricott to the end zone. Touchdown, Verina. 21-21. We are all square. Time for the Bulldogs to go back to work. Second half, third quarter action. Verina defense says no. Amari Baylor. You know, the defense gave up some big plays, but they also made some key pivotal ones at key times like this. This is a special teams play. They blocked the long field goal attempt by Kings Fork, so we're still knotted at 21. Verina, let's go to the fourth. Still knotted up. Derricott throws a pass. Caught off the shoelaces almost. KB on keys. Sparking the drive for Verina. They get out of deep in their own territory and more advantageous field position. Connects again with KV on keys. It would lead to this. Are you kidding me? Anthony Fisher on the deep catch from Miles Derricott. Fisher not finished. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my goodness, it's Fisher. Three rushing touchdowns on the afternoon. This would be his third. Verina suddenly with their first lead of the game. It's 28-21, Blue Devils. But you knew the Bulldogs would come back, and they do. What an amazing game this was. A pass caught. That's good for a first down. And then looking, looking, just enough time to find, guess who? Marquise Green, tall wide receiver, defensive back. I think he's got a future at the college level for sure. We're tied at 28, 2.35 to go in the game. Season in the balance. Trip to the state championship game. In the balance, intercepted. Kings Fork takes over. But wait, did you see that yellow hanky? Yeah, there's the yellow flag. Kings Fork, the Bulldogs called for pass interference. So Verina gets another shot. Derricott takes advantage. He finds, who else? Yeah, Anthony Fisher. 100 yards receiving. A lot of yards rushing, including the three touchdowns. And then he hands it off to number four, Kyrie Sorita. All of a sudden, Verina up 35-28, 41 seconds to play. Last chance, Bulldogs. 
Tick, tick, tick. And the quarterback goes down. He is sacked. KV on Keys and company have done it. They have beaten King's Fork. And yeah, they want to bring a championship back to Route 5. They will advance to the state championship game. I mean, that's Christian. Every week he will, have, he will give you his all. And we know that we got to ride him. And I mean, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do that to, uh, next week as well. I don't know if it's a uh, thing there yet. Even like the sense of urgency. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. But uh, we playing for the state championship. We got to get ready. It's just, I can't let my team down. I came back to Verona. This is where I'm from. I came to put on for my family, my team, all the players that can't play, and we ready to win the state and make history. They will have a chance to do just that Saturday afternoon at Liberty 35-28, your final.